Okay, and welcome to the Food and Wine Channel. Today we're at the Radisson Blue Hotel, Waterfront Cape Town, and we'll be talking about the Cape Legends Inter Hotel Challenge. With me, I've got here the general manager of the Radisson Hotel, Deborah Sivertson, and um, we're going to be asking her a little bit of questions about the participation of Radisson in this competition. Um, Firstly, I'd like to ask you a little bit about your background, uh, where you're from, and how did you get to be at the Cape Radisson, or at the Radisson Blue, sorry. Well, it's quite interesting. I'm originally not from the hotel industry. Um, I'm actually from retail, um, specialised in human resources and degree in industrial psychology. And I was very fortunate to be asked to come and be the human resources manager here um, at the Villa Via in 1997. So I've been at this hotel originally in 97 and then Radisson converted in 2000 um, and I grew into different departments with them and I ended up being their deputy GM here and decided in 2006 to leave them uh, to go to Protea Hotel, the, the Protea Group where I was with them for a couple of years. My last property I ran was the Protea President and then I was very fortunate to have this opportunity as general manager at this property specifically, uh, back within the Radisson Group come available and then they approached me to ask me would I like to come back. Obviously I understood Radisson, um, I, I worked at this hotel when it was a building site so I understood the property. So yes, I came back in November of this year and I've been back with the group for about six months now. Well, welcome back at the Radisson Blue. Fantastic. I wanted to ask you, can you just give us a little bit of, um, tell us about the Radisson Blue? What, what is on offer here? What can guests come and enjoy? Um, you know, what would be a typical guest experience at the Radisson Blue? Okay, the Radisson is a five-star hotel, as we all are aware. Um, and, you know, I don't know whether it's a blessing or not, but we, we're very fortunate from what you've seen to have a phenomenal terrace um, from the dining experience as well as from my rooms that overlook the ocean. I don't think any hotel can be closer to the hotel's edges to what we are, I mean to the water's edges what we are. So for us from the locals as well as hotel guests, our dining is really important. For sundown is really popular. Our food's phenomenal and you will get to try some with our, our chefs. Um, so yeah, people come and enjoy sundowners, enjoy terrace um, food. We have lovely brides on a Friday during season. So it's just that whole dining experience to come and experience the terrace. And then obviously from a hotel rooms perspective, we have over 177 rooms. Um, so the experience that the guests come in, they have phenomenal guest relations, checking the people in. Yeah, um, our rooms have all been refurbed, so they're brand new refurbed rooms. And then you come down and have a dining experience. And then we also have a lovely um, Amani spa, which has, um, we have a gym and then Amani spa. I think so, I'd like some of that. Yes, <laughs> they're very good. <laughs> and that has a lovely little indoor swimming pool as well. So oh. it's a general experience. The kids can come, play in the pool, husband can have a beer on the terrace while the wife goes for the massage. So lovely. clearly there. <laughs> Fantastic. And also it's, it's very, you know, because of the access Ability, you, the interaction with the yes. bay and, and seeing what's happening at the waterfront. The, so there's yeah. great shopping and everything to be had and literally... We, uh, uh, just, yeah, we have free shuttles and that go on the hour to the waterfront, so the location to the waterfront is really great and there's also a nice walk okay. if someone does want to walk. It. Great. Um, I'd like to ask you a little bit more about your team, the yes. people at the, at the Radisson, people working with you. What are your approach with regards to training and development here? And I suppose part of that is the reason why you guys participate in, in, in the challenge, in the show cook. How, how do the two interact? And okay, for me it's really important and I think it's purely because I was given the opportunity within Radisson not having studied um, hotel management. I think there's always that concept you must have studied it to be able to, to, to grow and develop. And I was really lucky to have a phenomenal mentor um, within the Radisson group at the time, an older gentleman who really pushed me to grow and develop and train in every department to be able to sit where I'm sitting today. And for me, that's really important. And my philosophy is to grow and develop, especially the underprivileged and especially the youngsters of today. Um, you know, I think self-esteem is a bit low and that, oh, there's so much unemployment and how am I going to get a job, etc., etc. And for me, it's important to take a phenomenal pool of staff that we've got, like the Burtons and the Jean-Claude's of the world, that have come from challenging environments and have really difficult 
outside scenarios to come and they're passionate here at work and to take that, grow and develop them and let them become the leaders of the world. I'm not going to be around myself, I'm going to be around forever. Let them be the new executive chef and the upcoming chefs. That's yeah. what's important for me. Okay, very good, sir. Um, can you give me just a little bit of background why Radisson decided to participate in Cape Legends into Hotel Challenge? Um, you know, what was the motivation behind it and what do you guys think you'll be getting from it? Say, for instance, you win. What, 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 how are you going to take it forward then? Um, um, I think, look, it's our second year. Yeah. We took part last year and I think last year was that bit of un naivety. Oh, well, there's this competition. Okay, let's just do it. And we went and we did it. And then suddenly realized, oopsie, hang on. It, it's, it's quite important and this is quite a big thing. And it's a, you know, hoteliers are very um, competitive. <laughs> um, putting it nicely, so and you, know, you also think, being a, a woman, I suppose yes, there is that little bit of a, yeah. and, and, and as women, there aren't too many of us in the industry, so we tend to be even a little bit more competitive. <laughs> so suddenly last year, I think we went there and thought, okay, we'll just go and do this, and then realised the vastness of this competition, and I think also the importance of the competition. So I think this year we've approached it differently. Um, number of reasons. I think it's a good opportunity to showcase us as a hotel um, and, and what we can deliver. But I think what's also important is to what do we want to get out of it if we win. I think it goes back to the developing of people because people need to aspire and think, should you know, if, 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 if the chef Burton could do that or Jean-Claude can do that, why can't I do it? Maybe they're a runner in the restaurant and they can aspire to do that. So they don't need to maybe aspire to always be a general manager, but the next level up can be that. So for me, it's, it's attracting in the right people to want to come and work with us okay. and to be grown and developed. Have you got um, a word of wisdom? Something that you'd like to share with your two candidates? Somebody, Something that you'd like to say to them to keep in the back of their minds as they're going into participating in the competition? Well, if I look at Burton, he he's really quiet um, and I think that that comes through in in his way that he's he's quiet but he's very professional and focused on what he does. And I think for me, for him, I would say, Burton, um, keep that way about you. Do what I know that you're so good at doing and produce the food that I know you're capable yeah. of doing. Um, John claude on the other hand, is the charisma. Yeah. He has the personality. He has... Um, the gift of the gap yeah. and for, for his role in this competition that's what you need and for me I would say to him Jean-Claude go out there and do what you do best charm mm. them yeah. and and do what you do best because yeah. that's him yeah. he, he, he has that kind of personality very good and if you could give a word of warning um, to the, your competitors I mean you know I suppose a few people from the industry also personally that's going to be participating and it's going to be your opponents have you got a message for them i think as i said last year we went into it not knowing the full extent of the competition so maybe we gave them a little bit of a leading role last uh -huh. year i was not gm last year i'm now <laughs> gm here and a woman hates to be wrong uh -huh. and a woman hates to lose so we're allowing them to take part in the competition purely out of just making them feel better because we are going to win this issue. <laughs> Very good. And thank you so much for your time. It's an and uh, yeah, I hope that you guys take this take this win and take it home. And, and then hopefully next year we can come here and, and enjoy the, the spoils of that win. Absolutely. Cheers. Great. Great.